All right, I've been playing with a feature here on the oscilloscope uh, called zone triggering, so I wanted to show that. Um, it's pretty pretty nice. I could have used it when I was developing something once. Uh, it would have been nice to have. Um, so this little board here that I've been using uh, creates random uh, glitches in, in digital signals, and so we're going to be using using this board and uh, let's take let's take a look at it so i have it i have it hooked up so um if you do a default setup uh you get this um if you make it bigger you can see that maybe something's going on uh trigger when you click the trigger button it puts it at a 50 percent trigger level and so uh you can get it so you can say okay well everything looks great you've got a nice uh, nice square clock there um so uh, in a lot of oscilloscopes, there's uh, a runt uh, triggering, okay? So I'm going to be using a mouse here to keep my fingers away from the screen. Um, so you can go here to trigger type, and you can go to runt pulses. Now, runt pulses are um, pulses that don't make the full excursion. They come down and they go back up again. So let's see if we can't catch some, some runts. Um, there's going to be two trigger levels now, a high trigger level and a low trigger level. So right now we're moving the high trigger level. So let's set the high trigger level way up here. And you click it, you go. Now you're moving the, the, low, the low one, okay? And uh, we will set the uh, trigger to not auto, but to triggered, okay? And we'll see if we can catch and we did. We caught, we caught a we caught a runt pulse. You can see it right there. Let me zoom in a little bit here so you can see things. And it's going to just wait for the next random runt pulse, and it got another one. Okay. And so you can say, oh, okay. Well, I've got a particular type of runt pulse. There was two in a row there. They both looked about the same. Um, and you you might troubleshoot that, and your your circuit's still not working right, and 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 you just you just don't understand why, okay? So let's go back to default setup, and uh, we will we will make it bigger again. We'll set 50%. We'll zoom in again, and we'll go here, okay? Now, uh, what this uh, scope has is zone triggering, and um, what you do is you just draw a box, okay? And I'm going to draw a box, and I'm going to say. Uh, must intersect. So it creates this zone and the waveform must go through that box for it to trigger. If I move that box over here, you can see that it stopped triggering. But if I, but if I, oh, I can make this change sizes too. But if I, if I put it here, you can say, oh, okay. But if I put it here, okay, now uh, if something goes through that box, it will trigger on it. We'll have to wait a while, see if we get any strange, strange occurrences. There we go. We got that, we got that runt pulse again, okay, the same one. But let's, uh, let's see, well, what if, what if we move, move it over here, okay, and let's make it bigger, okay, let's make that. So if, if anything weird happens, it'll catch it. And there we, there we got one that's a little bit different. You can see that it's, it wasn't, oh, there's another one that looks completely different, all right? We hadn't seen those before because our triggering wouldn't allow those things. Um, so we can move that box, uh, we can move that box into this area here, see if we, see if we catch anything strange. There was a bigger one. So our rump pulse detection wouldn't have caught that one because it was a full excursion. Uh, there's our old runt friend. Anyway, you can see that we're catching catching odd events. Let's uh, let's zoom in a bit here, so maybe we can see we can see even finer detail. Let's move it over here. Oh, there we caught one. We hadn't seen that one before, right? That's that one's completely new. So we can we could change the size of this little box, and we can we can move it around just to to try to catch certain events. There's another one that looks really, really strange. So, so here's an, a good example of using this um, zone detection to see anomalies that we wouldn't have seen before if we just used something simple like runt. Okay, um, so I've set up a different condition here 
I'm using two boxes. I'm using this box and telling it that the waveform must pass through that box, um, but the waveform must not pass through that box, okay? And so uh, let me uh, let me show you what's going on here. So if I move this one over, and let me just move this over for a second. So it's going to say, okay, here's our typical square wave. If I get any kind of pulses in this area, it's going to trigger on it, okay? And um, nothing can go through this box, all right? All right, so let's set this up first. I'm going to say, okay, I want to make sure that we never go through this section here where it normally goes through. And we will set this up here. Now let's see if we catch something. And there we go. It just it just caught it caught it. So it made it through this box, but it did not pass through that box. So you can draw multiple boxes. Uh, I guess you can. Uh, let's see here. Have I'm not sure how many how many ones you can possibly have here. Uh, uh, so you can have four. You can have four zones, and then you can have them logic together. All right, just having some fun with the uh, with the zone triggering. I haven't had that before.